Good morning, student. Once more, I'm Dr. Mushaba, the lecturer for the TPF 2601 module. This is your teaching practice one, P8 Foundation Voice module, and I am going to take you through assessment one. As I've already indicated before, the purpose of this presentation is to take you through the 2023 assessment one requirements. Assessment one, it is a form. As you can see here on my left, this is the form that you will see. I'm um, sorry. Uh, this is the form for is this written assessment one. You'll find it in your study material. So the important information with is written in this form is that, please read the information. It says, please register on my UNISA. Activate your My Life email account and make sure that you have regular access to my UNISA module website as well as your group website. This tutorial letter contains important information about your assessment one, which is cool information and proof of placement. This is the same information that I was reading before. I've just made it um, so that you can see it. The content of this assessment, uh, assessment one is introduction, compulsory requirements for teaching practice, the school-based placement requirements, registered for more than one teaching practice module, monitoring of placement, abiding by the rules of the school, assessment one, school information, proof of placement, Assessment one, school information and proof of placement. Proof of placement received on your My Life email must be provided. Okay. As you are registered for Bachelor of Education Foundation phase, you are required to conduct your teaching practice from level one up to level four. But for the focus of this module is in your first year module as this is the module that you are registered. The duration of this module is five weeks. So if you are registered for two or more TP modules, you may not do two teaching practice module placement at the same time. This means that the dates must be different. As I've indicated that this one is five weeks. And if you have registered for another module, you will have to take another five weeks. You cannot use uh, both teaching practices one and two for the same time block. So number one, for this teaching practice module TPF 2601, for your five weeks, you have to do two weeks, which is 10 consecutive days in grade R. I know there's a confusion regarding the register, and I've posted the correct register on my UNISA uh, uh, Moodle site. I've posted the, the register. Please the, use the register that I have posted, which uh, the dates are in line with this information, which is two weeks in grade R. Then you have to do one week in grade one, one week in grade two, and one week in grade three. So please, you don't do grade R only or grade two only. You must do all the grades. Grade R, 1, 2, and 3. So what is assessment 1? As I've already showed you the form or the page that assessment 1 has, read that and familiarize yourself and make sure that you understand what assessment 1 entails. 
So this assessment one is a form that requires the school information. And you must also attach a proof of placement. So these are two forms. Number one is a form that you take to the school for the school information and the principal has to sign the form. And after you will receive a confirmation letter from the teaching practice office, when you have submitted the form and the DSAR form, then you'll get a confirmation letter. The two forms you must attach and submit as assignment one. After you have submitted in the teaching practice office for the placement. So now let me just explain this. You have to first apply with the teaching practice office. The forms that you, you, you can take to schools for when you apply is a DSAR form and the form and the form for school placement. These are two forms. These two forms, you take them to your teaching practice office, you submit them. Then in turn, you will receive a confirmation letter from the teaching practice office. The confirmation letter that you will receive after you have submitted, be it manually or you have uh, applied online for placement, you will receive a confirmation letter. That confirmation letter is the one that you must submit with assignment one form and a form, the confirmation letter into your, as your assignment one. If you don't submit the two documents before the closing date, you will be blocked from any further submission of portfolios because the assignment one will keep you active in the system. If you submit before the due date, it, it grants you the permission to, to submit your portfolios or your exam. All the arrangements for your teaching practice must be made at the beginning of the year because the due date for assignment one is in May. So do not wait until wait until later after May and start the process of um, securing space in the schools. No, or immediately after registration, you must start with the application for the school placement so that you can get a confirmation letter and sub, um, submit assignment one on time. Immediately after registration, you must read the relevant study material before any arrangements are made with the respective school or schools where you are planning to do your teaching practice. So now after registration, all the information that I've been uh, talking about, you will find in your study material. So before you engage with anything, please read your study material. Do not just start by uh, calling the lecturer and say, I don't understand. How are we going to do our teaching practice? The material is clear. If you read the study material, you will understand. But then you are free to ask where you don't understand, but you must first read before you ask the lecturer or the teaching practice office. This assessment must be submitted before the closing date and before you commence your teaching practice at the school. The closing date for assessment one, I still repeat, please check the correct date in the, on, on, on the module, check the correct date so that you don't submit late. There's an error with the date that I've written there. It's, I think the date is the 11th of May, but please, please check and, and verify. Students who do not submit assessment one before the closing date and before commencing teaching practice will not be granted admission to the examination. I've already explained that. This further means you will not be able to continue with your teaching practice 
and all further submission will be blocked. You already know this. You will then have to register for the module again in 2024. School information. The details of the teaching practice school that you have applied to through the teaching practice online booking or link are in tutorial letter 102 must be provided on the school information form. You know, when you apply for, to, for when you apply for the teaching practice, you must consult tutorial letter 102. I've already explained about that, that tutorial letter 102 is important. So the details are in tutorial letter 102. If you are going to do two different schools, you will need two schools information forms. The date on the school information forms must correlate with the proof of placement you received from the placement office. The proof of placement, which is sent to your My Life email address by the placement office based on the online completion thereof, must be signed and stamped by the principal. I've already explained about this. How to obtain, to obtain proof of placement, I've already explained. Number one, you consult tutorial letter 102 for the placement process. The student view function must be used, which is located on the My UNISA student portal. Teaching practice students doing teaching practice within the borders of South Africa must use the following link, the link here, to capture the school placement details. And the teaching practice students who will be doing teaching practice outside the South African borders, which is SADC and international countries, must use the following link. Here's the link that is below. It's the links are also in your tutorial letter 102. Uh, this is not the application form for placement. You must complete your placement online to obtain the proof of placement. You must provide the same information for the school. Only one PDF document is accepted. Yes, students, yes, you must convert these forms into a one PDF document before you submit. So this is assessment one form that you must take to the school. We must complete the information there. Your module code you must complete. You must complete the student information. You must complete the principal information and the school information. At the end, the principal must stamp the form and sign the form. Without the stamp, uh, the assignment, you will be disqualified if there is no stamp on your assignment and if there is no signature. So you will get a zero if there's no stamp. So you must know now for all your assignments, make sure that there is a cool stamp. Please do not go, if the school does not have a stamp, just leave that school, choose another school, because the stamp is the important thing that we look before we mark the assignment. If there's no stamp, we don't even mark the assignment. So do not be surprised when you get a zero or a 5% and because and question why do I get this mark because I've worked so hard in my assignment is because we don't even look at the content. We first check if there's a stamp. There is then that we can mark your assignment. Then this page is where you are going to attach your proof of placement that you are going to receive from the teaching practice office after you have submitted your forms to apply for the school. This is this information is the same information that is in your tutorial, in your, in your, in your assen, assessment one. This is the information that you are going to complete from the assessment one form. And yes, this one is still the information, same as the one that you are. It's just that it's in 
a form that you can easily view and read. Thank you, student. This is the end of our presentation. Thank you. Bye.